Welcome to the introductory video for Robinhood Solver. To create your first project, click on the New Project icon on the toolbar and then click OK. Now, create some objects for your first calculation. Click the Add Box button on the toolbar and in the Settings dialog change the number of subdivisions to make the calculation more accurate. The box is created and placed on the scene. You can zoom in and out of the scene using your mouse wheel. You can also adjust various visualization features. For example, you can turn on the display of triangle edges. You can display the object in transparent or wireframe form. You can use Boolean operations to combine simple objects and transform them into complex ones. In this example, we create a sphere and move it with the mouse to a desired position on the scene so that it intersects with the box. Then, we hold the control key and use the mouse to select both the sphere and the box. When both objects are selected, we use right-click to display the context menu and select Boolean Difference command. The operation is performed instantly and the new object is created on the scene. You can transform and manipulate the new object in the same way you transform basic objects. Use your mouse to drag it along one of the axes or to change its size. To prepare the model for solving, you need to configure the physical properties of the objects. To set the physical properties, right-click on the object and select the Set Properties command. You can choose the material type or set its potential or charge. Before you start solving, you can add color palettes to objects. Right-click any object and select Add Palette command. Let the solving begin. Click on the Solve icon on the toolbar and click OK. The solver will start its magic. On the right-hand side, you'll see a plot showing the convergence in real time. Note how Robinhood Solver shows charge distribution on objects in real time as it's being calculated. After the solving is done, you can close the convergence plot. To tweak the visualization of your model and change the colors used, you can change palette properties. Click on any color in the palette and play with minor A and major A values. You can see how the colors change in real time. To get a better insight in the results, right-click any object and select Show Results in a Table. Each row in the table shows charge, potential and density of a single triangle. You can click on any triangle in the model while holding the Shift key and the corresponding row in the table will be highlighted. You can also select any row in the table and the triangle on the object will be highlighted. A pointer will indicate the exact location of the triangle so that you can locate it more easily. The data from the table can be exported to a CSV file for later analysis in other tools. To visualize the electric field, you'll need to perform post-processing. Create a 2D plane object and convert it to a post-processing object by choosing Convert to Post-Processing Object from the context menu. You can resize the 2D plane if you wish and place it on a desired location. During post-processing, the solver will calculate the electric field at every vertex of this new object. To start, click the Post-Process icon on the toolbar and click OK. After the post-processing is done, navigate to the Projects dock and turn off display of original objects. Now you can analyze post-processing results. You can assign a color palette to these results. Right-click on any cone and select Add Palette to Dataset from the context menu.
When you hide the original object, you can see that the electric field strength within the object is negligible, as is expected in a Faraday cage. This confirms that the solution is correct and that Robin Hood solver has properly calculated the field. You can zoom in and out of the scene to see the visualization in detail. You can show these results as a table, selecting Show Datasets in Table from the context menu. Each row of the table corresponds to one cone in the model. If you select the row, the corresponding cone on the scene will be highlighted. Also, if you click on a cone while holding the Shift key, the corresponding row will be highlighted. For each vertex, at position X, Y, Z, the table shows three components of the electric field, as well as the magnitude of the field itself. Thank you for watching our introductory video. Look for more videos at www.artcalc.com.